pronouns. So you're going to be asked in the SHSAT to fix pronoun, vague pronouns, and they're going to be checking one of two things, really, that you match the number of the pronoun. Jack and Rick eat pizza. He were super hungry. He is not – there's two people here, Jack and Rick. So he is singular. We need the plural version of that pronoun, a.k.a. they right so then they also want you to not be vague with the pronoun even if it does match the number so in this one it says the boat is next to the dock it was built in 1704 it refers to what the dock the boat we don't know for sure so we need to write something like the dock and that would be the correct answer because that would clarify this vague pronoun so take a look at the second sentence tell me if it's right Shelly spent three years beating the tournaments. She was happy to be done with it. Take a second. Do you see any mistakes with pronouns? Is this right? No. Because even though she does match up to Shelly, it matches up to tournaments, which is plural. So we would need them. So even though you could say it is the pronoun for the experience of having beaten the tournaments, you need to match it with a noun, and this noun that it matches with is tournaments, which is plural, not singular, them. So now that you know how to do pronouns, this is how you're gonna be seeing it on the SHSAT. That's how they're gonna phrase the question. And uh, so take a look at these two uh, sentences and tell me or uh, figure out which one, one, two, three, or four, uses a vague pronoun which one of these sentences would you edit to fix a vague pronoun and vague can mean matching numbers and not being vague so cool good luck with this and the answers will be in i don't know uh, just pause it right now i'm going to say the answers otherwise